Hello everybody, um, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a very long time since I've actually uploaded something, mainly because I didn't know what to do, and I've had more important things to do than upload onto YouTube. So, um, yeah, today we're going to be doing a video about aisle stereotypes, I guess, because I'm unoriginal as hell. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy a mediocre video. Utah Raptor. These nimble, sharp-toothed ankle biters are a force to be reckoned with in large groups. While a single Utahraptor may not be as powerful as its legacy counterpart, a pack of these devils will soon overwhelm you with their ability to pounce onto you and cause serious damage, a fate that many lone dinosaurs are sure to meet. Carnotaurus These high-speed hunters will voluntarily go out hunting for Utahraptors in packs, wiping the floor of them and come home knowing that they've just done the Lord's work. And I've had fun on the way due to having fast running speed, making them one of the most fun creatures to play as in the game. Dinosuchus Dinosuchus enjoy hiding on the riverbed, not moving a muscle until they begin to run off of auction and need to go to the service. This is because Dinosuchus players spend most of their time looking at their second monitor and not playing the game until they are fully grown. Once fully grown, however, Dinosuchus is a predator that you should certainly stay away from, unless you want your ribcage crushed into a hundred pieces. Pteranodon They want to fly, that's all. If they could fly all day, they would, but sadly their stamina does not allow it. They love nothing more than sightseeing the map while thousands of feet in the air. Unless you're that one Jew terror who tries to dive on every other living thing and inevitably ends up crashing and getting eaten. Stegosaurus. This fat, lumbering creature loves nothing more than mix packing with other creatures and wiping the floor with anything that stands in its way on its journey to accomplish nothing but irritate the local crocodiles. Dryosaurus. This creature lives to do just one thing, one simple task, and arguably the most fun task in all of the isle, and that is to troll people. Anybody unlucky enough to meet a trolling Dryosaurus should accept their fate as their mental stability is in the hands of this demon. No joke though, this is actually a pretty cool dinosaur. Tenontosaurus. Some people call this creature an ign Iguanodon clone, and they'd be right. The most defining difference between these two creatures is a Tenonto's lack of a spiky thumb thing, and a Tenonto's smaller size. However, what this creature lacks in a spiky thumb thing, it makes up for in speed and agility. If you're a Utah and lucky enough to bump into this creature, prepare to be demolished, as this dinosaur kicks your ass to the moon and back with the help of its kicking attack that will cause you to wake up with a Tom and Jerry style injury on your head, and no memory of how it happened. Hypsilophodon. Dryosaurus with even more trolling capabilities. Pachycephalosaurus. This dinosaur is pretty much the Terminator, just without the very large amount of guns. It attacks everything it sees, and in many cases kills them. However, this creature is outmatched by Carnosaurus, a dinosaur which will send Pachycephalosaurus back to the menu in a matter of seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video. This one actually kind of took me a while to make. I think it was like two days, maybe three, because I'm just saying this as I record it. But um, yeah, if you did, I hate saying this, but um, click the like button and subscribe if you want to. Or dislike the video, because no one's going to see those dislikes anyway. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, if there is a next one. Bye-bye.